This video highlights NCBI's Variation Viewer and demonstrates how readily a medical practitioner or other researcher can use the viewer to interpret clinically relevant variants. We will evaluate and prioritize three variants in a VCF file from a fictitious patient's genetic test results. Our patient presented with a phenotype suggestive of SCID, severe combined immune deficiency, so the adenosine deaminase or ADA gene might be involved. I'm going to start in the variation viewer and human assembly GRCH38. But it's easy to switch to H37 right here under pick assembly. Let's take advantage of one of the recommended track sets called genetics and variation. So under tracks, NCBI recommended track sets, select genetics and variation. But be aware that there are many more variant related tracks available from both dbSNP and dbVar data in the Configure Tracks menu. Now let's load the VCF file for GRCH38. In the User Data and Track Hubs widget, open Options and select Add Files, since we have a local copy of the file. You can name the track if you want, then browse to your file, and the selected file will be uploaded. You now see the VCF track with a green highlight, indicating that this is user-supplied track data. In the widget, we see the three variant calls. Let's first explore the call G. Click on that row, and the display zooms to that region on chromosome 20. And we see that the call G corresponds to a known ref SNP, RS244074, and matches the reference assembly, G, at this position. As a side note, for those of you working in GRCH37, this position is an A, so for specific locations of interest, it's good to check the latest assembly. Okay, how can we evaluate this G allele? If you mouse over the genes track, you see that we are in the ADA gene, but we don't see any indication of significance in any of these other tracks, such as ClinVar short variations, or the dbGaP submitted associations. Let's see what we can learn from the variation data table below the sequence viewer display. I'll filter by database, dbSNP, and we see our ref SNP and that it is in an ADA intron. The only other information we see here is that the A allele was not seen in any thousand genomes population. Maybe this G is not a real variant after all, so let's put it aside and move on to the other two calls. Clicking on the A in our uploaded VCF shows a match to a different ref SNP, this one ending in 8740. We're still in the ADA gene, and now we see entries in two of our tracks. The purple ClinVar entry indicates a pathogenic allele, and you could explore the ClinVar record directly from here. The other track with data is cited variants. Let's take a quick look at one of those PubMed abstracts. Well, that's intriguing. This location has been identified as a mutational hotspot in ADA deficiency. Let's see what else the viewer can tell us. We'll display the transcripts and proteins in this region by clicking on this handy Show All button for the gene track. I'll zoom out a bit. And now we see the beginning of the exon containing our called A allele. We can also add conserved domain information by hovering over the gene track name, clicking on the gear icon, and selecting product features. It turns out that this allele is only three amino acids from an active site in this conserved hydrolase domain. And in the variation table below, we verify that this is a missense variant with a very rare but measurable minor allele frequency. And by expanding this entry, we get allele information such as the protein change and ClinVar assertions about condition. So this call clearly merits further investigation. Our final call is this T, also in the ADA gene, and corresponding to a ref SNP. We see no data in these tracks, nor in the variant table below, but there is another track we haven't explored yet, 
a fairly new one called Biological Features. We can find that by searching within the Configure Tracks menu. After searching for Biological, I'll select this first one. And after a bit of cleanup, now we see some interesting features at this location, including a locus control region and different transcription factor binding sites very close to our T allele. Certainly worth more investigation. That concludes our demonstration in the Variation Viewer. As with other tools at NCBI that incorporate our Sequence Viewer, you can share this configuration with colleagues via this URL. Save your own set of tracks via your NCBI account. Generate publication quality PDFs here under the Tools link. And send us your feedback, which we highly value.